So, yesterday it was big release day. We got the, the Mavic 3 Professional, which is a kind of the new flagship from a DJI. And we got a, a lot of new firmware updates that would improve yeah, drones like this one. The Mini 3 Pro, adding capabilities of using the motion controller and uh, the goggles, which is all super, super exciting. But this video is actually to address uh, the elephant in the room because with the introduction of the Mavic 3 Pro, the other existing uh, Mavic 3 drones are actually being discontinued. So this will be the only one that's remaining. The Pro model that is top of the line, it actually introduces a three camera system where the main camera is still based on the Micro Four Third sensor that we have in the, the standard Mavic 3 series as well as the Classic. The second camera is the seven times optical zoom that is equivalent uh, to a 160 millimeter lens, which is only currently present on the Mavic 3 and the Mavic 3 Cine and not the Classic. With the Pro version, they're adding a third camera now, which is three times optical zoom equivalent to a 70 millimeter lens. In the past, there was a lot of rumors having uh, interchangeable lenses on the drone and all that stuff. But what DJI actually have done here is uh, pretty clever. And that is uh, to give you all three lenses at the same time so you can switch between them when uh, you are airborne. This is the main difference of the Pro is these three cameras compared to the other camera configurations for the Classic and uh, the Mavic 3 series. They've also added some different color profiles and such. So why aren't I super excited about this? Simply because the drone now with the new configuration is too heavy. You probably know that the Mavic 3 series, including the Classic, all have uh, the capability of carrying the C1 classification label. The real advantage of that is that it can fly in the A1 airspace, which means that you can fly in urban and congested areas without any safety zones. If you push the weight of the drone above 900 grams, I don't know if they can compensate actually by reducing the speed of the drone so the impact of the drone of a certain uh, amount of energy is brought below the level if they can settle with that. That's maybe something that I need to investigate. But if that's not the case, that would basically mean that you would need a A2 certificate to be able to fly the drone inside urban areas. On top of that, you need to establish a 50 meter safety zone below the drone where you are flying. And if you have tried to fly inside uh, urban areas, you would know establishing a 50 meter safety zone below the drone limits the possibilities tremendously. So I have a really, really hard time to see the justification of this. And especially when the other drones are going away, this is really not good news for the recreational flyer or the hobbyist that wants top of the line and be able to fly it. This means that you will actually only be able to fly the Mavic 3 Pro outside the city in the A3 airspace, 150 meters away from urban areas. And come on, there's not much fun in doing that. Just to give you a real life example, despite that I have the A2 certificate, this morning I went into the central part of Copenhagen. I had to film um, an event that was uh, placed there and I was being asked to film around a church that was located inside an urban area. And despite there was nobody around, it was super windy. So I had to bring the Mavic 3 Classic also to provide the best possible image quality of this location. If I had to bring the Mavic 3 Pro, I would have been forced to make this safety zone of 50 meters which would have literally been impossible in that location. I might have been able to pull it off because the area where I was filming around the church was kind of fenced, so I could stay in there. But the movement around the area, I would not be able to pull that off at all. So that would have made uh, the difference between uh, a successful and, and not so successful uh, mission in there. So unless DJI is offering me one for free, I'm definitely not going to pursue the, the pro version of uh, the Mavic 3. I'm perfectly happy with my C1 labeled uh, Mavic 3 Classic. I do admit I'm a little bit envious on the, the zoom lens. So my conclusion, unless you have super specific needs and you already purchased a Mavic 3, then keep that instead of running out buying the new one. 
as the video quality that you will get from the main camera is exactly the same. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give a like. If you did like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.